And that's what Gamer B is trying to struggle with here to try to achieve. Again, known as the B because he's one of the hardest working guys. He works like a B, which I guess worked very hard. I don't know what insects are. I think they go on vacation or re relax or something like that. It's not like those wasps. Those lazy wasps. <laughs> lazy man. wasps. Look, let's not be waspists. <laughs> Fair enough. Stream. Fair enough. No spreading uh, stereotypes about wasps. <laughs> and Elena, again, one of uh, Gamer B's great counterpick characters. We've seen she's so difficult to approach. One of the fastest, most dangerous low shorts in the game. She's going to be uh, hitting it, hitting that button a lot, as well as a variety of quick overhead attacks. Very difficult to block. And just incredible foot speed to add to it, making her very hard to pin down. She does have not the strongest reversal options as well, so... You'll see that a lot from Elena players. They save that meter just for EX scratch wheel, yeah. for wake-ups and anti-airs. And she isn't terribly meter dependent. Uh, she needs it for a couple of combos. Okay, Chiquito finds his opening. Wants to keep the offense on. Wow. Oh, wow, double sweep. Wow, it looks like he knows something and finds another Dizzy. What is going on? I feel like our Dizzy settings might be wrong. <laughs> there are no Dizzy settings, but uh, yeah, we're seeing incredible, I think it's just a testament to the incredible play you're seeing here, the way these players can generate that kind of pressure. Yeah, I mean, the momentum swings a lot between rounds, but during the round, that's why we're seeing so many Dizzies, because so many of these players have learned to use these characters so well to maintain that pressure and maintain the momentum. I love that tech there from uh, the Keto. Again, Tokido, of course, inventing the Akuma Vortex. Wow! Oh, oh not a throw. trade! Tokido smartly slowing down the fireball to counter that potential. And Gamer B falling into his trap. Unbelievably smart play from Tokido. Yeah, if he, he had done his the, homework. If he had used the regular fireball... She would have sailed through. Yeah. But he used the, the red one instead. And not only... Oh, oh no! He's going to go right into Another Ultra. Another Ultra. He'd already powered it up again. He will survive this, but it's going to be... New scramble situation. Oh, he doesn't try and chip her out. Oh, it's not to be it. It's so dangerous when wow. you even with that little bit of life there. As long as Elena has that one bar, you have to worry about the EX Mallet Smash, and that's exactly what Game Ravy pulled off. Now, that slide causes really weird Hit block stun. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a very unusual move. What scares me about that game one for Takedo, not just that he lost, he lost in the same way that he lost previously, where he tried to play conservative, tried to play smart, right. backed off a little bit, and then had another great player steal it away from him. And that starts to really sting after a while. You don't want to you don't want to leave this stage trying to have played the numbers and trying to play smart. You want to play your absolute best game, and I'm not sure that's what quite what Takedo has given us. He's given us that game all the way to the ending point, and then he puts on the brakes. And you know Gamer B is not the player to be shy about taking advantage of your mistakes. Daigo oh no. had a one like a one frame miss on the punish, and he ate a raw ultra, and that's what got Gamer B in here. He's gonna take everything you get. Takedo's gonna give that's him gonna just be like all out of range. Takedo again, so so smart. Recognizing the ultra choice from Gamer B, he's picked this ultra specifically to punish my fireballs at range. And now Takedo using a little bit of jujitsu and turning that potential advantage for Gamer B into a liability. Oh, he knew that he was gonna try to focus dash through there. Was all ready with his own low forward fireball to intercept the forward dash. Kido now switching up the style with this just total fireball assault. Smart block. Nice challenge from Zukido gaining the advantage back to his oh. side. Thought it was going to be maybe a cross up hurricane. Did not come out that way. Here comes Tokido. And very nearly a perfect here and not getting baited by the low roundhouse from Gamer B. You that might what? be good, yeah. I don't and think he could take it. Yeah, yeah, I think Tokido said, you know what? I want to get rid of that weapon from yeah. you. And, and still have enough life to be able to play it. Now game. he can do this. He can jump back and throw right. fireballs. Yeah. Not gonna let Gamer be, you know, chip away at his life and then save the meter. You certainly don't want to get hit by an ultra ever, exactly. Right. But he is deep banging Elena by doing that, and also uh, at the same time he was doing it by creating that possibility. He was throwing good fireball pressure that could have hit Gamer B at any juncture. So a strong, smart, long view play from Takedo there. Searching, and that huge range on the focus attack for Elena, but it is slow. And now finding the corner pressure. Okay, she goes in, had to burn it. Yeah. Save her, make sure she was safe. Oh, 
Smart blocks. And a great timing on that counter. And wow, Gamer B's patience really paying off there. He was oh. willing to weather the storm. Incredibly difficult link to accomplish there. And Tokido really thought he was going to oh. go. Oh, no. oh. oh, hit her out of the mistakes. air. Yeah. yeah, and he can combo off that, but missed it. Missed that link. Oh, he tried to ultra. Didn't get it. Had the right reaction. Oh! oh! And with Elena's floaty, floaty jump. Look, it's really hard to jump over a fireball and hit someone with Elena. Well, it helps when uh, they throw the fireball when you're already down. You're already <laughs> halfway down from your jump. So, Takedo uh, thinking one move ahead and uh, pays for it there. But a nice overall mix in terms of this varied offense. Great slides in Gamer B. Wow! Stand short counter poke to deny him the fireball startup. Okay, delayed wake up, throwing out that timing a little bit, ending up in just a tech throw. Nice chase down on the back dash. Here comes oh. Tokido. Gets the counter hit, but doesn't confirm it. But oh no! Fast on the throw. I don't think he thought that jab was gonna hit. No, the he did. is longer than the block stun. Wow! He completed it. Beautiful stuff here from Gamer B to take Not it in. Not quite yet. Oh. He's living. Oh, just dash up. Stand short is going to do it. Tokido was not ready for that. Just I, I don't think he believed that Gamer B was going to stick a button out in that situation. But I think that was smart distancing. Gamer B stood at a range where uppercut felt a little dicey. Yeah, yeah. And so then poked with the stand Wasn't short. Wasn't guaranteed. And again, he could afford to bet it. He had enough of a life lead in that situation to be able to take the hit if the uppercut did come. Ooh, nice space control there. And again, trying to control that horizontal column with those relentless fireballs. Oh, caught him in the middle of trying to start up that red fireball. Now here comes a mix-up, goes for the cross-up. Nice block from Takedo. Takedo gets out of that situation. Back to the neutral, back to the footsies. And again, jabs, shorts, fireball, just throwing out that dance try and confuse the opponent and control the horizontal column. Yeah, again, Elena with great counters. Again, Gamer be missing that combo off of the overhead. He's been so consistent. It is a very difficult combo. Oh, Takeda baits it out, but is out of position to punish. Trying to see if Takeda's going to throw a fireball. Oh, wow. wow! That was so gutsy. Gamer B does not want to be put on his heels oh. here. Wow, just jumps out, but now Takedo <laughs> jumps back into the corner. Frogging over each other here in the jungle. He's got to hold it. Good blocks. We've seen him put this on. Takedo, to his perhaps discredit, doesn't want to overcommit there. Wow, oh, so line smart. Of Go take him out of the air. Gamer B's the only one I've seen so far to counter neutral jumps at that range right there where jump attacks won't hit her. Oh, did he get her? Oh. Time now running out. Takedo oh. has to make this happen. Oh, oh great challenge. Trade. Beautiful trade from Gamer B. Just going up into the air. He's so smart. Why don't and the battle continues. Fight. Wow, okay, a little neutral jump now from Takedo to see if he can trick Gamer B into overcommitting. Crucial game three. But Gamer B's patience has really paid off so far in this game. Every time Takedo gets an advantage situation, he does not press his luck. He's willing to sit him down back and just block a bunch. Yeah, that's the situation. We've had a few times, like I said, where Gamer B's missed some combos and stuff like that. It just hasn't gotten to him. This is a much steelier Gamer B yeah. than even just at the end of last year, where he barely missed making the Capcom Cup. And it's not just a matter of holding down back. Oh, nice counterplay. Oh, he finally gets her there with the set play. He dropped it there. He had the jab, but didn't expect it. Oh, just out of range yeah. for the slide punish. And there's Man, that there's cross up Hurricane, cross. finally. There's been a few times where Gamer B has read that and walked forward into jump punches and such. Yeah. And then finally, Tokido pulls it out and actually success succeeds. Yeah, and the defense of Gamer B is, again, yeah, not just being willing to block, but also maintaining the mental composure not to get cracked. It's very difficult and scary to block against this kind of pressure from Tokido. Again, Gamer B dropping a combo. The pressure is getting to him. Tokido still playing relatively conservative. He finds a counter hit there. Oh, and he's gonna oh, another yeah. drop. Yeah. Oh, but like good I trade. Said, even though the pressure, oh, and he gets a stun. Even though the pressure is getting the gamer B, and he's dropping some combos, 
he's not letting it affect the neutral game, which is no. the most no. important part. He recovers part. his composure very quickly. Right. You cannot afford to sit there and beat yourself up or be angry about it. You have to just get right back, snap your mind right back to that neutral game where reactions are absolutely critical to find those openings. Right. I've always said that playing fighting games, one of the biggest keys is that selective memory. Yeah. You must be willing to move past old traumas very quickly. You have to remember every minute detail and forget, you know, small things that you know that you dropped or missed. You can't spend time angry at yourself. It's a good life lesson overall. Yep. You gotta move on. Stay in the moment. Great pressure. And this is, again, a best of five set. It is loser's bracket action now. So Takedo must win two. Gamer B must win only this game to advance. Oh, going out of surprise offense. When the EX Malice match was first discovered how good it was, people abused it, and then people started blocking and punishing, and everyone was like, this move's not that great at all. It's still great, you just have to use it very sparingly. You have to be a, it has to be a surprise. It has to function like it was a... Oh, oh tried he wanted again. the ultra, and that definitely stings. But again, Gamer B must recover that composure right away. Oh, went for the throw, but... Oh, oh. out of the fireball, start up. Gamer B now at match point. Can he defeat the other demon once again here at Evolution 2015? Again, Takedo sometimes referred to as one of the gods, the five gods. Oh, nice slowdown on the fireball. Well, as we mentioned, 20 plus top eights at Evolution. Yeah. Including this one, but he has not won a Street Fighter 4. He's gotten second. He wants this one so badly. Okay, so we're seeing a gutsy uppercut there from Takedo, but he drops the fireball follow. -up. And this time that jump attack gets caught by the scratch wheel. Oh, oh no! Again! Out of the fireball range. She's doing that preemptively. Oh no, that could be it. That could be it for Takedo. And that's it! Gamer B moves on! Conquers two of his demons! And again! Will he bow to the crowd? No, he's, I think he thought about it for a minute. Oh, there it is, yeah. One a of the keys. Pump. Like I said, that EX Mallet Smash, such a great tool. He. You know what? The advice that I always give to people watching at home is win with the least amount of, of your tricks as possible. If you're winning without using your key tools, keep winning that way. Absolutely. And that's what he was doing. He was trying to win without using the EX Mallet Smash. It put Tokido in a rhythm for the footsie game until just those last few games. That's when he started pulling it out. And then Tokido is like, he's, he's smart. He knows exactly he what we said yeah, yeah. yeah he's like oh use it once in a while so once gamer v pulled it out it's like okay that's the one time he's gonna use it he's gonna stop using it staying but out of the zone of predictability right